I'm Troy Stafford and welcome to another video by Alaska Salmon Online. The following video is part of a series of videos that showcase the healthy aspects of Alaska salmon, share recipes from around the world, and provide a little insight into the Alaska culture and the Bristol Bay fishing industry. Alaska Salmon Online and our blog were created as a mechanism for sharing Alaska salmon to the world. We went out and we found the best fishermen that provide the highest quality of fish that we can deliver to your door. Salmon is a healthy choice for you and your family, and we're proud to be a part of that. So enjoy the video, and we hope to hear from you soon. So, um, so you've lived in Alaska for 30 years, right? I've, I've been coming to Alaska for 30 years. Aha! Uh -huh. So I've uh, actually been here since uh, 1974 in the United States. And what brought you to Egigik? Uh, I met somebody, which in their turn, they knew somebody which had been involved with the fishing industry. And uh, not too far away is Big Creek area. And she was an older lady from Romania and knew the people which uh, uh, did the business at that time. Her right. name was Claire Clark. And uh, she lived in Palm Springs, California. And the people, they used to vacation over there in the winter time. And uh, they invited her to come and, uh, uh, to Alaska and uh, do the cooking. Right. And she did, and she was so overtaking about the beauty of Alaska. And then she came back and said, Victor, you've got to see Alaska. You've got to see it's the most marvelous place. She said, and she brought me pictures of the wildflowers. And I was quite impressed. So the following year, I uh, I decided to come. So I met the man. Um, I arranged and I leased the permit. It was very primitive at that time, the fishery in here. And uh, started fishing. Didn't know anything about it. From engineering to fishing, it's quite a distance. Uh, back home, I was fishing in a lot of streams. So right. So uh, uh, then uh, I started fishing, over there. and I liked it. And uh, finally, I decided to buy my my size. Uh, at that time, I could buy a permit for three hundred dollars, and I didn't. I could buy it for fifteen hundred, and I didn't. So I ended up paying thirty thousand dollars for my permit. Right. So uh, it was very primitive fishing. Uh, with the tide, we used to carry the net. We didn't have any mechanization at that time. So the guy was very primitive on fishing himself. And uh, we uh, used to put the nets when the water was out, the tide was out, and pick up the fish when the water was going out. Right. And I said to myself, this is not the way to so it must be some better way of doing fishing. And because we were killing ourselves, we were making piles of fish, they were scorched in the sun, so the quality of fish was not very good. And uh, I said, what will be the way to have a, uh, a easy picking? And I said, uh, something to glide over the, the water. Something right. which will give me the possibility to carry more than five fish in my hands. Right. Killing. So, inflatable boats. So, the next year I brought myself a, a nine foot inflatable boat and I got 110 Honda. Honda actually the bike revolutionized the fishery. So, in the beginning, I didn't know that, that I'm going to stick with, but I did. So, 30 years later, I'm still here. 